More breaking news at 6 now. New video obtained by the Washington Post tonight shows Republican gubernatorial candidate Dan Cox greeting a member of the Proud Boys. The video was recorded at his primary victory party this summer. Take a look. You can see Cox shaking hands with a man wearing a shirt with a Proud Boys logo. The man also hands Cox a comb as a gift saying, quote, this is a present from Maryland Proud Boys to you. Cox's campaign just sent us a response and he says, quote, in the noise of the victory celebration, it was hard to hear what was being said. I was surprised by him handing me something and frankly, I did not even keep the comb. I had never seen him before and I have not seen him since. I have no affiliation with anyone involved in violence on January 6th, period, he said. We also have reaction tonight from Democratic gubernatorial nominee Wes Moore. Yeah, he spoke over Zoom just moments ago with 11 News lead political reporter Kate Amara. What's your reaction to this report that just came out in the Washington Post? I mean, I, I don't know anyone who would be happy or excited to see a member of the Proud Boys. And, and, and you know, Dan Cox was happy and excited to see this, uh, see them on the night that he accepted the Republican nomination uh, for governor. Uh, the Proud Boys is a white supremacist domestic terrorist group. And, and Dan Cox eagerly embraced them and, and accepted their gifts. And so I think once again, this is Dan Cox showing us his values. Uh, and once again, the people of Maryland should pay attention. Well, stay with 11 News for continuing coverage of this developing story. We'll have more on 11 News at 10 and 11.